Brand new merch is available. Go to heydon.com or click the top link in the description to take you to my website. These bad boys will not be around forever, so go ahead and check it out while you can. So now we can go do the gym battle. Um, we know that her the gym battle's highest mon is level 25. We do get to TM 11, which is that something that'll help me out here? Sunny day, not really. So let's head back, we're gonna heal. We're all set on potions, the levels are set on everybody. I think we're pretty much good to do it. I think the one thing we do wanna do is probably not bring Baltoy, I assume. It's not gonna be very helpful for ye old dark gym, so switch you on out. Time to see if I can get through here uh, once again. Okay, so I think the gym leader does in fact have six po- Oh my god, I found a whole nother guitarist guy. What the hell? How did I get find a, a way that I hadn't gone before? I hate this place. All my homies hate the darkness. What the fuck? I went in a circle. Yeah, man. A lot of the time, you guys remember more about my Let's Plays than I even do, and I'm the one that freaking- God damn it! How many trainers are in this place? For the love of frick. Well, Sneasel here, Rock Blast. You, Hombone, taking names out here. Okay, I, I, so I guess I battled that guy, but not the other one? What's going on here? I need an adult. Eight hours later. And we've done it! All right. We know one thing about this gym is that she has a mon with Wonder Guard and there's nothing super effective against it, so we need to lead seed it. So we need to ensure that Breloom doesn't die before then and we'll be okay. Or I could just set up, I could just set up spikes with Balin and that might not be a bad idea. Let's, let's maybe lead Balin and just see how this goes, huh? All right. Gym battle time. This is actually like kind of our first actual gym battle. I mean, we're in a gym doing the fight, so it makes sense. Let's do it. Did you find out what was causing the rumors? Yeah, there was a group of dragons there, apparently. And by a group of dragons, there was two. Apparently they came with the zombies. I knew it. I'll have to get the old anti-air gun working again. What the hell are they even talking about? This whole ROM hack is just one long fever dream, I swear to God. All right. <laughs> Look at the super sick fit, by the way. Haruko, you got six Pokemon, okay. Leading with a Poochiena? How, how is that even a thing? Okay, well, level 18 Poochiena, that's fine. I'm gonna use you to set some spikes up. I'm only gonna get one layer of spikes, maybe. Just because that'll, that'll ensure that we'll... Oh, okay, Bull Cup is actually not ideal. I guess let's just Water Gun. Ballin, spit on it, please. It smells like wet dog up in here. Two Bull Cubs, okay, so Bull Cup, Poochiena, Technically isn't even that scary because it would probably have bite as its strongest move and that's special in this gen So all right one more water gun and we get a crit that time didn't really matter Okay, it's so number one taken care of. I don't know why they had a Poochyana, but I mean with this many Pokemon one of them's got to be scary That's probably it right there is a Lux rate level 25 and it is dark type in this gen and I Kind of wish you hadn't done that also. I wish I wasn't playing on set mode because I could have switched well um My intuition tells me to probably go into my bulkiest lad here, who doesn't have the best special defense, but I'm a ground type. I unfortunately don't have any ground moves. I don't really want to hard switch into Breloom. I'm going to go into Waters. Sometimes you just got to send out the Homeboner, you know? And that's exactly what we're doing. Thundershock, get predicted. You absolute idiot. <laughs> now we can just go for a Rock Blast and see how much it does. Does hit me with a bite, and good lord that does over half and flinched me. Bruh. Why? Why would you... Why did you have to do that to me? I can't believe that you've done this. That was a large crunch. Um, hmm. Maybe I bring in this lad. Who has... Uh, hmm. I really wish that bite didn't do so much damage. <laughs> Fuck. I can't afford to lose my egg at this point. I don't know if I go into the egg. I, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Gray actually does resist. Uh, I assume, I guess we just go into Breloom, but I don't know what moves this thing has. So, I, I, whatever. I think the safest move is to just go into Breloom. We're fine. We're, we're fine. I'm just afraid of losing Breloom, but hard switching into it, it's fine. Bite's not going to do much. Okay, still does a little bit on, through the resist, but that's okay. And now we Mach Punch, which will not kill but does some decent damage there. Now it just bites again. So all it really has on Breloom is bite. So we're free to take another one as long as it doesn't crit us. Does this kill? Just about does. Unfortunate. Okay, we're good. Are they gonna potion though? 
I'm going to use this turn to potion myself. Because I think that uh, they, they, might, they might use a potion as well. I'm going to go for the heal here. So that way if they heal, we're on an even matchup. What do we got here, boys? Yep, there's the heal. Okay. Gym leader ain't hacking around. Luckily, they just didn't even get a full dose. That's perfect. Now we can just mock punch it two more times. And then, bingo. I think we're pretty much through. Oh, and we get the crit there. Breakthem is not hacking around. We didn't even take any damage. End of that fight, full health. You love to see it. You just love to see it. <laughs> uh, next, we've got Sneasel, who I don't even think has ice moves. I, I honestly don't think this thing has any good moves. Maybe it has an ice move, actually, at 22. What would it have, though? And also, was a, would a mock punch just kill it? Probably. They probably have icy wind or something. You're right. Maybe, just for the sake of it, we switch into Bond real quick. And uh, I really wish I was intimidate. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's going to be using ice whatever. Four times effective on mock punch would have definitely killed it. But I haven't switched into Bond real quick once yet, so that's why we're doing it. And we're gonna heal it with a headbutt. Shadow swipe, hello? Okay, two headbutts gonna do it. <laughs> hmm. Shadow swipe be looking kinda crazy, actually. Wait, hello? Why didn't that kill it? Damn it! You've prolonged your death for too long here, Sneasel. We prioritize switching into Ballin above anything else. You guys should know this by now. One more shadow swipe, that's fine. Okay, so putting put that put him at risk though is, is definitely not what we prioritize. I definitely could have died there, and that would have been stupid. <laughs> All right, three mons left, and I think we've got through the thick of it with uh, getting rid of the Luxray. So here's Carvana, and uh, I'm gonna use Mr. Kid this time because we need to get to 24 on this thing. Let's switch into the egg. Who would win? One Chompy Boy or one Tiny Egg <laughs> with leftovers? E -e -e. Uh, so cut waterfall? Oh, Jesus. Can't say I've ever seen a level 19 Carvana use waterfall before. That's a first. Interesting. So we get some health back and leftovers. Waterfall's me hacking again. Come on, egg. You can do this, buddy. Yes. This pleases me. Alright. Carvana down. The rough skin was kind of scary, but that's alright. Okay, two mons left. Oh, shh. Shite, that is an Absol, okay. Absol oot ponage, per se. Um, hmm. I might just hard switch right on into gray here. And then mock punch it. Every time I see an Absol, I'm scared, because it could dance with swords, and then slash, and hurt. But also, is it going to pursuit? Hark, you, you got a point there. I think we're pretty safe. Just don't pursuit. Thank you. Okay. Bulk up. So, it's a little better than Dancing with Swords. Unfortunately, though, it does get a defense boost from that. So, Mach Punch is going to... Okay, well. We're going for the Mach Punch regardless. We have some. We have lots of levels on this thing. Yeah, it doesn't quite die because of its bulk up. Now, it's just going to... Damn. This hoe is greedy as hell. Leading with the Poochiana goes for double bulk ups. This Absol had a chance to get something going. Double bulk ups. What are you doing here, lady? It wasn't ideal, but we turned the bad situation into a good one. And Absol is dead. Now, there's one Pokemon left, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe it is a... Blue circle that has Wonder Guard that is uh, Spirit Tomb typing. And uh, it's basically a Wonder Tomb, but it's only at level 1. And if I remember correctly, its only move is Nightshade, which does 1 HP to you. Um, but luckily, we prepared for this. We laid some Legos out strategically on the battlefield. So this thing comes out, King Matteo, and wait. It, it doesn't actually have 1 HP. That kind of ruined my plan entirely. Okay, never mind. I actually thought... You could th theoretically just PP stall it. I thought I did something there with the spikes. <laughs> but it's not like a Shedinja. Uh, we're just going to lead seed it. Evaded the attack? God, okay, for a second there I was afraid because... So yeah, so look at it. It's, one, it's level 1 and it has Nightshade. See, the idea is you're supposed to you're supposed to be like, Oh, why would she send out a level 1? You go for a Mega Drain you're like, Oh, this would be fine. And then you're like, What? Wonder Guard? <laughs> And so you're like, basically, I mean, there's no way it can kill you be before it runs out of PP and struggles itself to death. But it, it, it definitely poses a bit of an annoyance here. We're just going to lead seed it, which should, yeah, and that should work. <laughs> All right. I think originally I used, I, I uh, poisoned it. And now we basically just, we're going to stun spore and essentially just stall it out until lead seed kills it, <laughs> I guess. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. I don't know why they decide. God, they even heal it up. Like, she's even just... 
prolonging the inevitable here. Please. Please, ma'am. I have, I have the world to be saving, and I'm out here fighting your blue circle. There we go. Alright, we've taken care of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Just as I expected from a slayer of dragons. You should have seen me slaying those dragons, lady. I was ice punching left and right. She was crazy. Received the Mizma badge from Haruko. Pog. I'll make all Pokemon up to level 30. Obey you, even those obtained in trades. Also have one of these. You get TM08. Inherited these TMs from Brawly, the previous owner of this gym. They contain bulk up a move that raises both attack and defense. Spelled incorrectly. Why do they have to do that to me? Uh, anyway, there's no easy way out of here. That really grinds my gears about this place. I'll slay more than dragons. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're healing. The poke phone is ringing. <laughs> Hello? It's me. Did you find anything out? Anything out about Landon and May? Oops, forgot to ask anyone. But I did till kill two dragons. That's beside the point. Stop wasting time slaying monsters. Find my daughter and your brother. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll ask around. Someone here will know something. See to it that you do. Click. He's like, what the fuck do you mean you forgot? <laughs> Maybe I should ask around the houses first. So, that kind of gives us a little hint -roo of what we're supposed to diggity do. Let's go back over this way and let's grab our... Ball toy, because you can't leave our homie behind. You know, he's he was our, our first our first lad. We're gonna get rid of Lanoon for now, just because we don't want double normals. Have you seen my brother by any chance? He's the Pokemon champion. I'm looking for him. Oh yeah, he surfed over here a couple weeks ago now with May. He said he'd found something amazing up in the desert and he was going back for it. Thanks, kid. Well, there's the info. Now let's see. Calling Birch. Hello? It's me, I found a clue. What is it? Where's the desert? Surf east, then north to Slateport, then go north through Mauville. Desert is just north of there. We do a little bit of sarfing now, boys. Here we have Route 107. We can actually... Oh, okay, I need to... You know what? What the hell have I been thinking this entire time, boys? You know what I just... I just realized now that I wasn't able to surf? I'm the biggest idiot in town. I have surf, and I didn't even teach it to Quillfish. <laughs> what the fuck am I... I used Water Gun in the gym. Who is... Who am I? I don't know. Now we're surfing. Um, so we can catch the very first thing we come across on this route. Um, but we got some trainers as well. Let's have us a battle. Okay, swear, Okay, we don't like to see guys that have one Pokemon. It's a Quillfish. It's only level 22, actually, so that's fine. How many headbutts does it take to get to the center of a ballin? Just a couple. And there's a double battle right there that I don't really feel like getting into, so I'm just going to mind my own damn business. Hey, this lady's stuck. My god, I cannot... I, I, I can't help you, lady. Sorry, lady. I, 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 can't, I can't break that rock. I'm of no use. Here at Route 108, we're just going to continue. Didn't get an encounter on the last one, but I don't think there's even anything different for me to grab. So, screw it. Zasties, thank you for lurking, buddy. Swimmer Chris here has got a Totodile. Hey, that's pretty neat. I like your Totodile. Level 25, and a Whooper. Hey, I like that thing too. Except, too bad I gotta kill it. Nice. This was a bad idea. It sure was. Egg Bomb is basically self-destruct if you're an egg. <gasps> what? Telson? This Quillfish is... A different Pokemon. Wait, wait. This thing's Steel type, I think. See, they they loved Quillfish in this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Steel type Quillfish. It's supposed to be one of them like underwater bombs, right? Uh, for a second, I thought it was a shiny, but then I was like, wait a second, it's actually not. It's a trainer's Pokemon, <laughs> and his name is Telson. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm afraid to go into these things because I don't know if it's gonna use a water move, but but uh, you know. I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe I go into waters here, but I don't have a ground move or anything. If it is, I'm going to gray. It's gonna harden, okay. So we're gonna mock punch. If it's super effective, yeah, it's steel type. Okay, no, it's sure, it, it, it sure isn't steel. Didn't we try Mega Drain then? I don't know. Maybe it's just the same, but it's just called Telson. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's neutral grass, but so what the what is this thing's deal and why is it level 23? It's easy for that defense. True. I mean, we're just gonna Mega Drain a couple more times. Minimize is extremely annoying though, but we haven't missed yet. Just kidding, I just missed. But we hit it that time. Alright, someone's gotta look up Telson for me and tell me the deal about that thing, because I have no idea. Very confused. We're gonna use this antidote and just be on our merry way. Light potion for you. Light potion for me, senor kid. All right. Telson is a new Pokemon found in Pokemon Snakewood. It is water poison type. So it's literally just a gray quillfish. And his name is Telson. <gasps> we have a ship. I wonder if there's anything going on in said ship. I don't know if I can do this now. Here we have, you guessed it, shipwreck. Suddenly you were lasered by giant sharks with laser eyes. Nope, seriously, you should leave. Okay, so they don't want us going there. 
That's okay. That's basically like the Professor Oaks. You can't use that here, but laser eyes. Um, hello? I was a sailor on that ship. What ship? What the zombies got? But it sank, and I became a pirate. Okay. All right, pirate. Let's see what you got here, buddy. I really wish I had a better move than hacking pound here, but I guess that does the trick. Pound in the pussy. Actually, the perfect move for this situation. But here we have Route 109. Where? Hey, look it. I really wish I didn't use all those damn potions. Uh, we got another quillfish here, which is technically our first encounter on this route, and guess what? I'm catching it. That was easy. See, all of the quillfish want to come to me. Alright. Now we're going to have a backup ballin, because the way dupes clause works in my book is that if you want the dupe, you can take it. And I'm taking it. Should have named it ball out. True. We got a Karamac. Is this going to be another just normal item, just different? Okay. Thin chocolate bar. Races one moves PP. Okay. It's a, oh, is, that is actually a chocolate, isn't it? Okay, well that's cool. Now we go north, where we've got some people. These people are unbothered by the, the pandemic. They're like, yo, listen, we got our own island. We got a floaty. We got an umbrella. Probably some margaritas. These people are having a day out here, and I respect that. <laughs> Let's put these two in front, why not? Love conquers all, even zombies. <laughs> He's like, we just went to this island, and we just, we just be banging it out over here all day. Never mind, they're children. Oh god, I'm sorry. Young couple. Hey, they have a secret egg too. Interesting. A secret egg and a lanoon. We are going to... Pa I feel like the... Well, maybe the lanoon's more of a threat. I don't know. Let's double the lanoon. Wish I had a fucking pool floaty. Secret egg goes to the protect. I predicted that, bitch. Because now... Oh, damn. That's actually a solid play. Predict, Protect. And surf. Oh! Okay, that's actually really bad. Because Waters is allergic to water. Which shouldn't be the thing, but... Damn it, and he missed. He got water in his eyes. Okay, well, we're gonna pound again. And I shall be switching. Did not expect a surf from that Lanoon. That was interesting. We're just gonna go into Ballin real quick and then deal with that. Ballin says, that's fine. Critical hit. Don't even give a heck. We gotta crit ourselves. And now I am just gonna headbutt instead of going for my own surf because I don't want to hurt my own guy. Secret egg goes for protect. This egg is over here doing pretty much exactly what an egg would be doing in a battle as you can imagine just just sitting there and doing not a whole lot uh now it's just us and this here egg it is breakfast time egg get in my belly you're dead all right maybe not very cool thank you for the monies you guys can uh continue your lifestyle i appreciate that more light potions i know that there's that bag like really close but screw it they needed surf to get on the island. Hey, Stepsis, that's actually a valid point. And damn it, I'm literally right at the city. I didn't need to do that. But this is where it gets a little interesting in the fact that I remember the, that there's the the, um, the zombie like chefs around here or something. I don't know. Bam, ba, bam. Pirate Pius has one Pokemon. It's a Meowth. All these guys all have Persians. What's the deal with that? What's the what's the lore here? Or Meowth? Yeah, the Persian line. I mean, what's the lore? I have no idea. Uh, $1,800, very nice. So, I think that we do definitely want to stay healed around here, because there is some scary trainers. Um, oh, god. I must take your items to live! <laughs> Put them up, he says. But first, I'll battle your Pokemon. Looter Barvus. Three Pokemon got a Sir Skit. Guess what? They're the most least threatening Pokemon of all time. Level 24 Wingle is a little more scary, because it's the same level as me, but that's fine. And a tail at level 23, that should be okay. Uh, quick attack is fine. Especially when you just focus energy on the turn while I kill you. Got some monies for that. Very good. Let's uh, let's switch up the lead here. Let's go to let's put Arkham in front. Guy hasn't gotten any action in a while. Hello? Beaches like this are about the only safe places left. That's only thanks to the salt water soaked in the sand, of course. Okay. I thought that, that was this guy who was just giving me a fun fact, but instead he actually is battling you. Uh, guy's got a suit on at the beach, of course. Survivor Butka Butcha. Has one Pokemon, it's a Lanoon, and it's level 28. Jesus Christ! This is the exact thing that I'm talking about in terms of finding these very high-leveled things in the in a sea of level lower level stuff. So I think that this thing might have Surf as well. I'm gonna go into Breloom expecting that. Just a different HM. Strength is actually not good for me. Oh my god. How am I gonna... Wow. Okay. This is horrible. Um, if it's going to strength again, I can go into waters. Damn. Stab strength from a level 28 Lanoon is no joke. 
Must recharge? <laughs> okay, strength is hyper beam, apparently. What? What just happened there? Well, okay. Let's uh, let's use this opportunity. Now we know that that's, that happens. Let's use this opportunity to super potion on Gray. We definitely need this Breloom for success here. Uh, now it's going to super fang. Okay. So that does always exactly half, obviously. I'm going to have to heal again because I'm afraid. I'm one afraid little chicken nugget. I'll get back to full. Let's see if it strengths again because I would like to see how much it does and also... Oh, he roars me. Get, go into Breloom, please. Breloom, Breloom. Yes! <laughs> you fool! You absolute buffoon. We know we can take one strength. Uh, let's see how much a mock punch does. Nice, it's a two-hit kill. Perfect. As long as we don't get crit. Oh, you son of a bitch. He yells at me. Hombone again. Yes! <laughs> oh, this guy's blowing it. We'd love to see it. Let's rock blast this time. Oh, what? Used a citrus berry? I don't think I've ever seen anybody use a citrus berry. What the hell just happened here? This guy's Lanoon is no joke. Okay, maybe we can just do it with Hombone here, though. Let's see if it let's see if it'll work. Oh, okay. Used another citrus berry? What the hell is going on here? What kind of AI is this? They just citrus buried at half health? I am incredibly confused. Also, why am I only hitting twice? Oh my god. What? What is this? This guy's like, don't mind me, it's just lunchtime for my Lanoon in the middle of this battle. Alright, so... We're at, officially at the point where you find random stray level 28s. Uh, luckily, Gray's at 25. Wow. What I was gonna say was, don't go to the seashore house, there's something in there. There's something in there, folks. I'll tell you what's in there. Something heckin' spooky.